and also got maximum benefit or reception from the school system about their holidays, about their kosher meal, about their etiquettes, about Holocaust in the in the in the private uh, in their syllabus, all those things. So they were uh, they were able to penetrate more in the public. Sour experience West. the world they lost. I know that they used to have so basically they facing those problems. So it's not a, it's the point my mind that it is not a strange case. It is happening or it could happen in our own house. So for that, one point I'd like to mention, the primary role is only on the parent. How do we ask about that? If we thought that this everybody is a shepherd, he or she should be accountable outside his people. Also. So the father, they will have to be accountable to the of very much to gray areas. This is very true. 
father but still uh, to the children or the that you should tell the person that respond this is well, that's it. somebody and father If you if you ask your mother to pray, he will very very easily he or she will ask you to pray. You are asking, so that is the, the and that is not it. Sometimes we see this is a disrespect. You are mentioning what the father and plus one la. So it is very interesting that I am paying two cents. They want their child to be able to. They cannot ask their, uh, their son or daughter, you should pray, you should fast, you should read the Quran. Yeah, another, uh, just uh, there is a uh, 50s and 60s. Uh, the, 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 the. their own languages and they will be very much in second generation will be second generation that we are more American, we are just to learn English, to learn any village language and I don't know what type of things you are talking about and this is the reaction. But then he explained that the third generation will be coming back because third generation does not have any psychological issue that our parents are not uh, American. The second generation has so the third generation don't have that, so the third generation will come back, they will be in a proud way, they will back, back home, their village heritage, and they will talk about Italy, and then the island, and all. Basically, he's been melting for, about, about talking about American melting, melting pot. And then also that the third generation will have some search about the background cultural, uh, cultural uh, heritage. I remember in, uh, so that is the one thing, but I personally, and Muslims, the things are happening to me, and that is the reason we can talk about. another example. Very much very much in Muslim Islam. But don't worry about second, third, they will forget it. So don't worry about it. As a Catholic of this, they will be a Catholic of this. They will be a Catholic of this. They will be a Catholic of this. Because they consider American Catholicism is not a real Catholic. They are very, I heard this example, cafeteria Catholic, something like that. I don't know why. So my point is just uh, finishing that, that the point is that this issue is a real one. The second generation issue or the third generation is a very real one, how to raise them. Second point is that the parents are the prime thing. And just becoming a good Muslim is not enough that your children will also be good Muslim. No, because the onslaught, the tides are so heavy, you have to be active in Islam, actively pursuing uh, your Islam. Then you can pray and you can also make dua that your children will also be becoming a good active Muslim and as a role model. And third thing is all those efforts, different efforts are going on. We should be helpful, we should be supporting all the, those efforts, the Islamic school and Sunday school. Instead, instead of making Sunday school as a, a dumpster, okay, leave them and uh, uh, to shop around and to talk about really like what should be involved in Islamic school. We will be hearing more. I think then I think we can pray, then we can uh, think about that, inshallah. And there will be, I think, uh, in, in, uh, in Islam, I will say very uh, briefly, I think every generation Muslims are coming back. We have seen the search 
to going back to basics, back to future, back to Islam in every generation. First generation, second generation, third generation, Alhamdulillah, this is the case we, are, we have been look, uh, watching. But I think more, I think the, the very conscious efforts from the parents and from the teacher and from the community leaders, they are uh, definitely, they are less, I think they are not enough, but we have to make efforts and then they make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah we will be having a future generation that will be uh, means the leader of Islam here without any cultural baggage. Inshallah they will be uh, inshallah providing real leadership here. Wa <coughs> I think uh, uh, the Haid made a very profound uh, statement uh, about the generations of Muslims uh, who have come to these shores and what has happened uh, to them. Uh, studies after studies have shown that this is what this is true. That second or third generation is somewhat lost. And fourth, you include those who sometimes stand up and see you praying and they say, oh, but now I remember my grandma used to do that, uh, or uh, that sort of thing. So what was the reason? What happened? Uh, one, when we study the Muslims, history in this country of the past uh, few generations, we found that, uh, yes, uh, they were very active in terms of uh, uh, quite a bit of Islamic work was undertaken, even as, as I, I mentioned, there were um, the Islamic centers established. What was missing was really an public schools and hoped that just because we are Muslims, uh, our children will also remain Muslim. But uh, I think the experience shows us that without concerted effort of both the parents, the schools, and the community, it will be impossible to raise future generation of Muslims who will remain as uh, committed Muslims. Or future generation of any uh, of any religion which will remain committed to it. So when we talk about leadership, leadership development, we ought to recognize that we have to establish our own schools. This is not a matter of just an opinion, uh, this or that, or a matter of choice. It is incumbent upon us that we have our schools because our schools are themselves are a sign of leadership. Those who are in public schools, they can, at best, they can be best copiers and follow, best followers but they cannot be best leaders because they, all they are doing is following a system uh, which has been uh, rusting over the years. But an Islamic school itself is a call for creativity, call for leadership, call for a, an institution which has a mission attached to it. The public schools really do not have a mission. They are to know who they are doing in this world, what is the purpose of their life, where are they going, and what indeed is expected of them uh, at the end of this life. So the very purpose of man, as um, uh, Robert Hutchins, a famous um, American educator said, that the goal of the purpose of education is to prepare man as man. But where is that man uh, which the public schools were supposed to have prepared? They haven't prepared a man. They have prepared a, a, maybe a technician. They have prepared a doctor, an engineer, 
but nothing more than that. An Islamic school, on the other hand, uh, attempts and is committed to prepare man as man. A man who will